Well, guys, in this video, we can feel the heartbeat of democracy that can heal our broken and wounded spirits. Democracy, they say, is the government of the people for the people by the people. This means that in democracy, everything is about the majority of the people and not a select few like the INEC chairman and the few corrupt collaborators and few greedy politicians that use illegal criminality to impose themselves and their choice on the people of Nigeria. Whenever this happens, the people are saddened and they either lament and complain to God and themselves or resort to either peaceful or violent protests that cost the lives of the same people. In the 2023 presidential election, INEC toyed with the heart of the people and the streets went dead this with sorrow. The passport. people for once were able to bond and rally as one and eagerly made their choice, but their votes were switched by the corrupt few. If the results were not switched, the heart of Nigeria from the north to south, from east to west, would be beating us one today. The streets of Nigeria would have gone mad with joyful celebrations and everyone would have been dwelling in love under one roof partying and celebrating in a way that connects with heaven in the true Nigeria spirit. But no, the corrupt few still went ahead for their selfish reasons, steadily dropping the bomb of tribalism and bigotry to further wound the bleeding hearts of the people and distract the people from their united rejection of their true enemy the corrupt few and turn around to fight themselves oh nigerians if only the right things were done by the corrupt few who we trusted their promises and went out en masse and voted oh how the oneness of nigeria would have been restored if only the right things were done the true heart of Nigeria, I mean the true heart of every well-meaning Nigerian, regardless of tribe, beats as one and we genuinely love ourselves as one. Today in Nigeria, we see a place where a good egg among the INEC officials refused to sell the votes and hope of the people to enrich herself like the corrupt few. The returning officer in Abia State, Professor Mrs. Nena Nanaya Oti, resisted the corrupt few and defended democracy for the people of Abia State in Abia State, giving the people of the state the government of the people of Abia State for the people of Abia State and by the people of Abia State. Guys, when a true leader is announced, the streets come alive with joy, celebrations, vibrations of joy everywhere. These songs are not solid. They are vibrant. They are brilliant. You can hear them. You can feel them. You cannot see and touch them. This is what we've seen in Abia State as Alex Oti of the Labour Party is announced the winner of the 2023 quadratorial election. Wow, we rejoice with him. We rejoice with the people of Abia State. We congratulate Aimee for doing the right thing in Abia State. At least this once. Professor Mrs. Nena Nanaya Oti, by this singular act, has become the national icon of democracy and the hero of the 2023 elections. Her patriotic act has upheld justice and enthroned the people's voice, which is also the voice of God. When justice is done, the people are happy. And when the people are happy for your sake, God is indeed happy with you. Thank you, Professor Mrs. Nena Nanaya. And may your generations forever see good for allowing the people's wish to prevail in Abia State, where you have no personal stake. May you be remembered when people of integrity and character are needed. May you receive national and international honors and recognitions that will serve as a shining example to the corrupt few 
for their repentance and conversion to good. Congratulations, Professor Mrs. Nana Nanaya Oti. Congratulations to the good people of Abia State. Congratulations to the governor elect, Dr. Alex Oti of the Labour Party. And thank you for what you represent, which has healed the hope and wounded hearts of all the people of Abia State. May you never forget this huge confidence Abia people have reposed in you, and may your government receive the favor of God. May this seed of justice sown in Abia State spread to every state of Nigeria, to the presidency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, for the restoration of the people's mandate, and for the healing of the wounded hearts and spirits of Nigerians. This joy we see today in Abia State shows exactly what we would have experienced and seen across the country of Nigeria at INEX declaration of the winner of the presidential election if and only if their declaration was in consonance with the votes cast by the good people of Nigeria. The brink of hope of the Nigeria people lies in the judiciary at this time. The calm we see today is not peace yet, as peace cannot be built on injustice. And we must remind you, the judiciary, that justice delayed is also known to be justice denied. Embrace courage. Embrace truth. The whole world knows the truth and is watching you. Let's rejoice with the good people of Abia State and allow their celebration spread to every part of Nigeria. At least we have something to celebrate. You've been listening to Nijapo TV and we love you and crave that you like and follow our page. And your comments are very welcome. Be an instrument of peace in Nigeria. God bless Nigeria with full restoration of justice, peace and love. Catch you in our next video. Bye.